Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's another series on test your knowledge in physics dealing particularly with momentum. And our first problem deals with a bullet going through a block which is suspended from a string, a five foot long string. The weight of the bullet is two pounds. The weight of the, uh, I mean, the weight of the block is two pounds. The weight of the bullet is 0 0.01 pounds. And the bullet has an initial velocity of 1,000 feet per second. We're trying to figure out the velocity of the bullet as it exits the block and realizing that the block has gained a certain amount of height in such a way that the angle of the swing will be five, uh, five degrees by the time it reaches its maximum height before the block begins to swing back. So here what we need to do to solve this problem is combine the concept of conservation momentum and the concept of conservation of energy. Now during the strike itself when the bullet goes through the block we can only consider that to be the conservation momentum because some energy will be lost so we can't calculate it by calculating the energy before and the energy after. What we need to do here is first calculate the velocity of the block after the bullet strikes it and then use the conservation of energy afterwards. So let's start with first the conservation of momentum. We can say that P initial equals P final. And what we're going to do here is realize that only the bullet is moving. So we're going to use small m for the, for the bullet and big M for the block. So small m, mass times the velocity initial of the bullet, we'll use small v, plus big M, the big mass of the block, times the velocity initial of the block, which of course in this case is zero, equals mv final, which is what we're trying to find, plus big M, V final, which is the final velocity of the block. And realize that in this equation we have two unknowns, V final of the bullet and V final of the block. And that's why a single equation cannot solve that problem. At least plugging in what we know. So again, we can use, uh, we don't have to use M, we could use MG because we can multiply everything by G, that works out just fine. So what we can say here is uh, we're going to write this as MG instead of M. And again, we're multiplying all sides of the equation by, uh, by g, which means there's no difference in the equation. So we'll use small mg, big mg there. Because after all, we use imperial units. And so what we can say here is that 0 0.01 multiplied times v initial, which is 1,000 feet per second. Again, the units really don't matter. Plus 0, because the block is not initially moving equals, that would be um, 0 0.01 times v final plus 2 times big v final. So those are the two unknowns which we don't know. We can simplify that just a little bit more. That would be 10 equals 0 0.01 v final plus 2 big v final. And so there's our first equation. Now, in order to figure out what the final velocity of the bullet is, we somehow need to know what the final velocity of the block is. For that, we can use the second part of the problem where we use conservation of energy. Right after the, bu the bullet goes through the block, the block will have some initial velocity and then it reaches a certain height. It will then change all its kinetic energy into potential energy. So we need to know the height gain. And the height gain will be the total length minus, of course, um, well, a better way to look at it is to find the height, we take the total length and we subtract from this portion right here. And that can be found by thinking this as a, as a triangle like this. You can see that this is the hypotenuse, that's five feet. This is adjacent side to the angle. So therefore we can say that this would be L, the hypotenuse, times the cosine of theta, which means that the height can be written as L minus that additional height, which is L times the cosine of theta, which in this case is L times one minus the cosine of theta. And of course, we know that's five degrees, so this is equal to five feet, multiplied times one minus the cosine of five degrees. And let's see how big that height differential is. So we take the five, take the cosine of that, subtract that from one, and multiply times 5 feet, and we get 0 0.019 feet. So 0 0.019 feet, which is the height gained by the block after the bullet strikes it. So now that we know the height gain, we can use the second part of the problem, 
where energy initial equals energy final. And in this case, of course, we have the initial kinetic energy of the block, which changes to potential energy final. So kinetic energy initial equals potential energy final. And the kinetic energy initial would be one half m. That would be v initial squared. Now notice that this v initial right here, and let me underline that in red, this v initial here is equal to v final in our equation right here. So the final velocity after the strike becomes the initial velocity to the second part of the problem as the block swings upward. And that equals mgh. Notice that the m's cancel on both sides. And I can say that v initial squared equals 2gh, or v initial equals the square root of 2gh, which by now should look pretty familiar. So plugging in the values for that, so v initial of the block is equal to the square root of 2 times g, which is 32 feet per second squared, because this is in feet, and then height would be 0 0.1, oh, I think I'm forgetting a 0, 0 0.019, like this, and that gives us the initial velocity of the block. Okay, so 64 times 0 0.019, take the square root of that, and that would be 1.103, 1 1.103 feet per second. All right, now we're going to plug that into our V final there. So if we then solve for, uh, for V final of the bullet, we can say that 0 0.01 V final equals 10 minus 2 V final of the block. And then multiply everything by 100, we can say V final is equal to 1,000 minus 200 V final. And of course, we take this value, plug it in here, and so V final of the bullet equals 1,000, this is in feet per second, minus 200 times 1.103. And so finally, so multiply that times 200, subtract that from 1,000, and we get 779 feet per second. And that is the final velocity of the bullet after it goes through the block. And that is how it's done. And there goes our cat again. She's not happy.